All right, welcome to module three. In this module, our expert will teach you about one-on-one -on -one recruiting, which is vital if you wanna get bigger name affiliates on board. So get ready to take some notes and let's jump right in. All right, guys. So in this lesson, we're gonna be tackling one-on-one -on -one JV recruiting. So you actually proactively going out there and tackling these guys and trying to get them one-on-one. -on -one. Now, the best way to start doing that is going to be to figure out who in your niche are the top dogs. Who do you want on your, what we'll talk about later, is called a headhunter's list. And I personally like to always start with leaderboards. I go look for a previous launch that ended at some point in the last several months, and I go find their leaderboards. This is for one uh, called Commission Magnets. And what do you know? Right at the top, we've got John Thornhill and Dave Nicholson. So I immediately, as a vendor, know that, hey, wow, these guys can move some traffic. These are people who I want to reach out to. So what do I do next? I come on over here to a spreadsheet, which is my headhunters list. And I basically start compiling a list of the big name affiliates who I want to reach out to. So I'll go ahead and put John Thornhill's name in there. And the first thing I do is I start Googling and Facebooking John Thornhill to see him and to find him and see what he's all about. Now, in this case, he happens to be in my network. We're friends, so I can reach out to him with a message. So what I'm going to do is grab the Facebook URL for John, and I'm going to put it next to him right here. Okay, so basically we have name. Contact info. And status. All right. Status will be blank until I reach out to him. And then, if I reach out to him, I'll just update this as message sent. And if he replies and says, maybe I'll get back to you, I'm going to put that right here. And I'm going to have a whole long list of names right here that I compile from researching who the big names are in my niche, finding out where they are and how I can contact them and reach out to them, okay? And then keep track of how it's going, all right? For your first launch, you should go all guns blazing and get as big of a headhunter's list as you possibly can. Now, when you finally reach out to someone, you need to do it in a very thoughtful manner. You can't just say, hey man, will you promote my launch? That's actually a running joke in the industry. All right, the hey bro, will you promote my launch? All right, you have to be a little bit careful about how you word it. Now, there's a couple of extremes. There's some people who actually enjoy when you pretend that you want to be their best friend. So you spend a week making small talk with them. How are you? How are things? Great to connect with you. And then you go and you like their posts on Facebook, even if you don't actually like them. <laughs> you like their posts on Facebook. You comment on their posts. You try to build some, you know, basically fake rapport. There's other people who have more of a realist and pure business approach who prefer that you just come straight out and say that you have a product launch that you want them to look at. And they don't like the fake friendliness. And then there's a middle ground where some people think that you should establish some type of relationship beforehand and maybe offer something in advance rather than, on the one hand, pretend to be a friend or, on the other hand, just come straight out and say, hey, bro, promote my launch. Okay, so there's two extremes and then there's the sort of middle ground where... Uh, you know, things are, are a little bit more gray. And what we're going to do is this. We're going to do a very soft pitch, a very soft exploratory message first, asking if it's okay to bug them with a JV invite. Hey, John, any chance I can bug you with a JV invite for an upcoming launch? I think it would be a great fit for your list and would love if you could have a quick look when able. We'll send that. Hopefully he replies. If he doesn't, you can follow up another way later on. If he does and says, sure, send it over, you reply something like this. Great, thanks. Basically, it's a product that XYZ, tell him about the product. I think your audience would like it because sell him on the idea. Here's the JV page. Send them to your JV page. Plenty of swipes and promotional materials to make use of there. Let me know what you think. Now, if you're just starting out, you're probably not going to get a reply after that. It's not because they hate you. 
It's just the, the way the world works. They're busy. They've got a lot of things going on. You're not at the top of their priority list. So you might not hear back. So you'll probably have to follow up. And here's how you follow up. Hey, John, just following up here in case you've had a chance to have a look. What would it take to get, to get the great John Thornhill on this launch? Can I offer you 65% on the main OTO? That's how you ought to be doing it. Offering something in return for them promoting your launch. Offering something special. If they're top tier affiliates, hey, who cares if you have to give away 75% on one of the OTOs and 100% on the front end? You're getting a top tier affiliate on your launch. Okay, so be willing to do that. But this is probably the best exploratory approach to take when cold calling, if you will, someone about a JV invite and an upcoming product launch. Now, depending on what the answers were there, I could update status and say, thinking about it, right? And then the goal here is to eventually have one long list of JVs who you are headhunting, trying to get on your launch, and over the course of about a month, you want to start about a month prior, like we talked about in the previous lesson when you're uh, posting your launch on those uh, notification and launch notice boards. You want to start about a month prior, and you're going to spend a month doing the grueling work of working these guys on your headhunters list, following up with them, updating them as you get closer to the launch, reminding them to have a look, offering them incentives. Hey, can I reciprocate? Hey, can I put a bonus that leads to one of your free products, uh, to one of your lead pages in my members area? Hey, can I stick your products in my autoresponder for day two, three, and four after people buy? That sort of thing. You know, put a little bit of yourself out there. Offer to do something in return so that they see more value in helping you out. And if you do that right, hopefully you'll have some success with one-on-one -on -one affiliate recruiting. But be prepared. When you're first starting out, depending on what niche you're in, be prepared. You're going to get a lot of cold shoulders. That's just part of life. Don't let it get you down. Just keep moving forward. Trade up the ladder, you know. You might only get, you know, low to mid-level affiliates on board for your first launch and then your second product launch. You'll get some higher ones out there because your brand has more recognition now. That's just sometimes the way it works. So keep your chin up throughout the whole process. Keep hustling, trying to get those affiliates on board, and you'll be all right.